Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Well, all right, we're in Nehemiah chapter 2. If you have your Bibles, turn to Nehemiah chapter 2. Uh, great to be with you in God's Word just for a couple of minutes today. And uh, we're in verse 19. This is going to be a setup, this study, for a number of devotions to come. Excuse me. <clears throat> and the devotions are going to be focused on spiritual warfare, um, spiritual attacks, right? Because no one, no Christian is exempt from spiritual attacks. Uh, but how do we respond to those attacks when they come? So, so we have a setup today in this uh, portion of Scripture, starting in verse 19. I'm going to pray for us, and uh, we'll jump into the Word. Father, thank you that you protect us, that you keep us, that um, greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. And I do pray today that we would be fully equipped, God, for this battle that we're in. In Jesus' name, amen. And so the Bible says in verse 19 of Nehemiah chapter 2, but when Sanballat the Horonite, Tobiah the Ammonite official, and Geshem the Arab heard of it, they laughed at us, check that out, and despised us and said, what is this thing that you're doing? Will you rebel against the king? So I answered them and said to them, the God of heaven himself will prosper us. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. So we're introduced to three characters. You know, I just want to focus on two of them today, Sanballat and Tobiah. Uh, and you're going to notice as we study Nehemiah, like, like these guys are just a thorn in the side. Thorn in the side. And not just like in an antagonistic, annoying way. You know, we were sitting out in the backyard the other day and there was this little fly that was buzzing around. And <laughs> it's amazing how a little fly can just be so absolutely annoying, right? And can just kill the mood and the good time. But it's not just that they were an annoyance. Like, these guys were trouble. I mean, they were trouble. Uh, and they were, for sure, against everything uh, that God wanted to do through Nehemiah and the people. Um, from a, a spiritual perspective, as you look at the Old Testament, you know, you see these stories and you see the people of God and the purpose of God that they're on and the mission that God calls them to, the Israelites for the most part. And then... You know, you see the, you see the, um, the adversary. You know, the anti-hero, uh, whether it's an individual or a people group. It might be the Philistines or the Ammonites as a people group that were really united in coalition against uh, the Israelites. Or it might be like in this case, um, two individuals. You have Sam Ballot and Tobiah, but but. That is the picture from the physical perspective. From the spiritual perspective, what we see is that this really does represent the adversary fighting against the God of heaven, right? I mean, this is what the Philistines and the Ammonites really represented was the principalities and the powers, the spiritual forces that had fallen from heaven that had you know, coalesced and united themselves against God and against his people. When you read the story of David and Goliath, remember there's a deeper spiritual reality that's happening there with Goliath and the Philistines. And then in this situation, you have Sam Ballot and Tobiah. And, you know, it's not just that they were an annoyance. <clears throat> it's not that this battle was just against flesh and blood. Um, but the truth is this, these people represented uh, the adversary and his attempts to undermine and destroy every good thing that God desired to do. And they, you know, immediately you see it, right? They, they laugh at the people of God. They ridicule the people of God. They accuse the people of God against, um, b for them being against the king. And then Nehemiah's response is simply to trust in the Lord, right? He recognizes where this attack is really coming from. Uh, today, I just want to do a setup for the coming devotions that, you know, the truth is this, and I've said this before in our daily devotions, you're in a battle, right? You're in a battle. This should come as no surprise to you. Paul said, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers um, that have arrayed themselves against the people of God. And this is why he says, man, you need to you need to suit up in the full arm of God. You need to recognize that every day you wake up, the battle has begun. And you don't even have to step out of the house 
for that to happen. I think a lot of times we find ourselves as victims in this battle. We find ourselves as maybe losing the battle uh, because we have failed to recognize that we're even in a battle. You know, we can choose as Christians not to rely on the weapons of war that God has given to us and act and behave and live out our life like we used to before we were even saved. You know, just kind of going along our merry way, not even recognizing that there's an adversary that wants to undermine every good thing that God desires to do in our lives. This is why Peter said to the people he was writing to, resist the devil, right? Resist the devil. Hey, don't forget, Christian, he is like a roaring lion, and he is seeking whom he may devour, right? Those unsuspecting individuals that have lost sight of the reality that they're in a spiritual battle. You know, that conflict that you have between your husband, uh, with, with your husband or with your wife. Remember, your husband or wife is not the enemy. The enemy, the devil is the enemy. He's the adversary. The, the issues that you're facing at work, you know, as you've just tried to be uh, a, a righteous, faithful servant of God, and you have all of this nonsense coming out of nowhere, how do you respond to that? The internal battle that you're dealing with and the tape that plays all the time, you know, I'm not, this looks like the crazy sign, but you know, sometimes we can feel crazy because we hear these things in our minds being said over and over and over again that don't bear witness to the Word of God and who we are in Christ. And you know, sometimes we just let the tape play Right? We let the tape play to the extent where we just continue to believe the lies that the enemy has for us instead of recognizing that we need to draw near to God, knowing that as we do, he will draw near to us. And so, listen, just remember this today, okay? You're in a battle. We're going to talk about what that battle looks like from time to time in the coming weeks and how we deal with it. Uh, and for today, at least, make sure that you're doing what Nehemiah did when the opposition comes, that you're trusting in God and you're being steadfast in what he has called you to. God bless you. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.